Live to our radio broadcast on 970 ESPN. For the first time ever, an entire team is being inducted into the Robert Morris Athletic Hall of Fame. Now, you already know how important Robert Morris basketball is and how much importance the Colonials put on NCAA tournament appearances. We've done it seven times. That's more than any other school in the entire Northeast Conference. Now, the 1981-82 squad was champion of what was then known as the ECAC Metro Conference. That team went on to play the University of Indiana Hoosiers in the big dance. And they were the very first team in Robert Morris University school history to make the NCAA tournament in any sport. Let's welcome the team into the Robert Morris University Athletic Hall of Fame. Presenting each player, coach, and support staff member with a plaque is Senior Associate Athletic Director Marty Golosi. Now join me in bringing the 1981-82 Robert Morris Colonials back onto their home floor. Ed Bombick. Bob Clanagan. Mark Dobbs. Chipper Harris. Paul Hensler. Representing the late Greg Junk, his sister Vicky, his brother Jay, and his mom Gail. Skip Kuskowski. Tyrone McFarlane. Tom Parks. John Russell. Paul Truly. Tom Underman. And Garth Wurstel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the head coach of the 81-82 Robert Morris College Colonials, head coach Matt Virjanic. <laughs> Athletic trainer Dave Sonoka. Faculty athletics representative Bob Norberg. Equipment manager Al Smith. And now let's recognize those who were unable to make it here tonight for various reasons, many of them because of the snowstorm throughout the Northeast. Phil Coles, Forrest Grant, assistant coaches Mike Mucci and Jared Durham, sports information director Randy Cosgrove, and athletic director Skip Applin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it nice and loud here at the Chuck for the 1981-82 Robert Morris Colonials, the newest inductees into the RMU Athletic Hall of Fame. And now, players, coaches, and staff, come on over here and join me. We have a very special announcement to make, and I want to invite all of the former Colonials who are here in attendance, anybody who's ever played and coached basketball here at Robert Morris University, to come join me on the floor. And we're going to look in this direction, okay? Right above our students. We have a special announcement here. This indeed is a very special day here at the Sewell Center. On this day, the Robert Morris Basketball Ring of Honor is being introduced. It recognizes the best of the best in our 40 plus year history, and based on a set of criteria, only four Colonials are even eligible for consideration. One is being installed right here, right now. He was a 1995 RMU Athletic Hall of Fame inductee. This Colonial had the distinction of being our all-time leading scorer from 1984 through 1994. He was the Conference Player of the Year in 1984. Chipper, come on over and stand with me, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chipper Harris. Now. Everybody direct their attention up toward the crow's nest where the 970 ESPN Pittsburgh banner is. Look off to the right as 
Here in the North Bleachers, we present to you the first inductee into the Robert Morris Basketball Ring of Honor, ladies and gentlemen, our own Chipper Harris. Congratulations, Chip. Chipper Harris and the 81-82 Colonials. Congratulations. That concludes our halftime ceremony. Let's go Colonials in that second half. Let's go get them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listening in on NEC Front Row and on 970 ESPN, uh, we just uh, witnessed a very emotional, very stirring ceremony honoring the 1981-82 basketball team here this afternoon at the Sewell Center and Chipper Harris uh, being introduced as the first member of the Robert Morris Basketball Ring of Honor. His banner hanging above the student section, blue jersey with the name Harris, and his number 10 emblazoned on the back in the years he played here at Robert Morris University.